It's 2026, and SpaceX's Starbase in Texas is buzzing with activity. The world watches as Starship launches become routine, but SpaceX's real ambition is to stay on the moon. By 2028, the company aims to establish its first permanent lunar outpost Moon Base Alpha, or AA City. Unlike past concepts of small, modular lunar camps, SpaceX plans to land a full-scale starship near the moon's south pole and convert it into a habitat and lab. This leapfrogs decades of conventional thinking, delivering a ready-made, multi-level structure in a single flight. A single starship offers more pressurized volume than the entire International Space Station, providing unprecedented living and working space from day one. Starship's massive payload capacity means delivering a skyscraper-sized building to the moon, bypassing the need for complex assembly. This approach, championed by Elon Musk, is about making humanity multi-planetary, with the moon as a proving ground for Mars. The 2028 target is aggressive, relying on rapid Starship development, in-space refueling, and precise lunar landings. Skeptics point to the technical challenges, but SpaceX's track record shows it can turn bold visions into reality, even if delayed. As of early 2026, Moonbase Alpha is shifting from dream to tangible engineering project. The future of lunar living is being built now. Apollo was a triumph, but its single-use rockets made lunar settlement unsustainable. SpaceX's Starship is built for full reusability, slashing launch costs and enabling permanent presence. Instead of counting grams, planners can think in tons. Starship's cargo bay can deliver crew, supplies, heavy equipment, and scientific instruments in one go. The first habitat isn't a cramped module, but a robust multi-story steel structure with integrated life support and power. Starship itself becomes the habitat, streamlining missions and eliminating risky surface transfers. The crew lands and lives inside the same craft that brought them from Earth, simplifying logistics and reducing failure points. The real innovation is in the interior conversion. Emptied propellant tanks become vast spaces for labs, farms, or recreation. With around 1,000 cubic meters of volume, Starship dwarfs any previous space habitat. This allows for a more Earth-like environment, easing the stresses of long-duration missions. It's the difference between camping in a tent and moving into a furnished apartment. SpaceX's approach transforms lunar exploration from scarcity to abundance. The Starship system is the key to making a real lunar home. The moon is no longer just a destination, it's a place to live. Establishing Moon Base Alpha starts with a precise Starship landing near Shackleton Crater. Early missions will be uncrewed, delivering cargo and testing the landing system. Once proven, the first crewed Starship will touch down to begin building a lunar home. The long-term plan is to tip the Starship onto its side, using robotic systems, making access safer and creating a multi-floor layout. Astronauts and robots will purge and repurpose the propellant tanks, pressurizing them for living and working spaces. Interior kits, flooring, walls, lighting, and life support will transform the empty tanks into quarters, labs, and common areas. The final step, protection. Robotic rovers will pile lunar regolith against the hull, shielding the habitat from radiation and micrometeoroids. This use of local resources, or ISRU, is key to long-term sustainability. The Starship becomes a true lunar home, built for survival and growth. Moonbase Alpha is designed to thrive, not just survive. Moonbase Alpha's location wasn't chosen at random. The rim of Shackleton Crater at the moon's south pole offers two critical resources, near-constant sunlight and abundant water ice. Sunlight on the crater rim means reliable solar power, no need to endure the two-week lunar night. The crater's permanently shadowed floor holds vast reserves of water ice, confirmed by multiple lunar missions. Water is essential, it supports life, can be split for oxygen and hydrogen, and even used as rocket fuel. By placing the base on the sunlit rim, SpaceX ensures steady power, while robotic miners can access ice nearby. This proximity of energy and water is the foundation of a self-sufficient outpost. It slashes reliance on costly Earth resupply. Living off the land isn't just smart, it's the only way to build a permanent lunar settlement. Shackleton Crater is the moon's most valuable real estate. SpaceX aims to claim it first. Moonbase Alpha's vision is true sustainability, growing beyond a single starship. Power comes from vast solar arrays and batteries keeping the base running day and night. 
early priorities master in situ resource utilization, robotic rovers mine ice, which is processed into water for life support and split into hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel, producing propellant on the moon turns it into a refueling station for Starship, enabling return trips to Earth or journeys to Mars, lunar regolith will be 3D printed into landing pads, shields, and even new habitats, expanding the base. Base Alpha is designed as a hub for science, commerce, and international collaboration. SpaceX envisions leasing space to NASA, partners, and private researchers, fostering a lunar economy. Public-private partnership accelerates development and makes a permanent presence possible. The moon becomes a place for business, not just exploration. Sustainability is the new frontier. The new moon race pits NASA's Artemis program against SpaceX's private ambitions. Artemis is government-led, methodical, and expensive, relying on the SLS rocket and Orion capsule, with slow, incremental progress. Its approach is cautious, with high costs and political complexity. In contrast, SpaceX moves fast, building everything in-house and learning from rapid real-world testing. Starship's full reusability slashes costs, making a lunar base feasible. Artemis feels like Apollo's legacy, grand, but slow. SpaceX's Moon Base Alpha is a frontier town commercial, scalable, and built for growth. NASA awarded SpaceX a contract for a lunar lander, but SpaceX's own plans go further, building the infrastructure for a lunar civilization. The company isn't just a taxi service, it's laying the foundation for a permanent human presence. Two visions, one goal, a future on the moon. The race is on. Elon Musk's vision is bigger than launches, it's about making humanity multiplanetary with Moonbase Alpha as the first step. Funding comes from Starlink, commercial launches and NASA contracts blending public and private investment. This partnership model, government vision, private innovation, could unlock a new era of exploration. If successful, Moonbase Alpha in 2028 will mark a turning point from short-term visits to long-term habitation. A large self-sufficient base will reshape geopolitics and space exploration. The moon becomes a hub for science, commerce, and the next leap to Mars. More than technology, this is a shift in humanity's relationship with space. For the first time, a permanent home on another world is within reach, not as a government outpost, but as a commercial venture. Whether or not SpaceX hits its 2028 target, the ambition has already changed the conversation. The future of space is being written now by those bold enough to build it.